Do you know what a diva cup is, mom? Cup? A diva cup. Deep cup for tea? Or for cup de capo? The worst pain ever. Cramps are seriously the worst pain I have ever experienced in my entire life. Maybe that's just me being dramatic, but... What is up, guys? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Do you ever just wake up, pee, and then notice that you're on your period, and then, like, the first thing that goes through your mind is, you know what? I'm gonna experiment today, and I'm gonna try something new. Because that's exactly what happened today. I don't know why or how, but I was just like, oh, okay, started my period. I'm gonna do something I've never done in my life. This is an accurate demonstration of um, what I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning. If you were a girl and you were going through cramps, do you think they would hurt? How bad do you think? I don't think I need to answer that question. Serious question, dude. I'm out of here. I'm actually like super curious as to what women use when they're on their periods. Now, I have never in my life used a tampon, a diva cup, and like all these other stuff that have been invented for when you're on your period. Only thing that I have ever used in my life is a pad. I don't know if that's weird or not. I know a lot of people are like, you're wearing a diaper, like how do you feel comfortable, blah, 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 blah. Um, but like, I'm curious as to what other women use and why they use it. I'm terrified. I'm actually pretty terrified of what I'm gonna do today, but I'm gonna do it because you know, you gotta get out of your comfort zone sometimes, and today is one of those days. If we're being 100% honest, I don't even know how to use a Diva Cup, so I'm gonna Google it. Hello? Okay, how do I use a diva? Mm -mm. Great. I think it's hilarious how there's actually a video telling you how to insert it. Ah! Are you thinking about making the switch to the diva cup, but still? No. I love how I say it's funny that there's a video, yet I'm watching the video because I don't know how to use it. The Diva Cup is a revolutionary alternative to tampons or pads. The Diva Cup is available in two sizes. Model 1 is recommended for women under the age of 30 who have not delivered vaginally or by C-section, and it's also a great option for young girls just starting their period. Model 2 is right. I'm actually really glad I'm watching this video, I'm not gonna lie, because I wouldn't have known which one to buy. Fold it using either the U fold or the push down fold. Oh my gosh, no. I cannot believe they want me to shove this up my vagina. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go to the store. 
and buy the dang thing and figure it out. Why is it so expensive? What is that? Why? All right, so I'm gonna be real with y'all. Yesterday, I didn't even shove this up where it belongs. Because I was terrified, okay? Let me just say, I was terrified to do it. And I was just like, do I really want to do this? You know, I was actually contemplating whether I really wanted to uh, give this a try. And I was just like, Sandra, you have to try new things. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. So I talked to myself, you know, I slept on it. I thought about it. And I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be very fun and very interesting, okay? Let me open it. Let's take it out. What is this? Oh, it has a cute little diva cup pooch pouch to store it in whenever you're not on your period. That's kind of cute. Let's just destroy the whole box. Bam. You know, this is so weird. Whenever I was watching the video of this, like it looked so much bigger but it's actually not as big as i thought okay so instructions how to insert the diva cup so the first thing it wants me to do is to put the diva cup in a pot of boiling water for five to ten minutes but my question is do people actually boil this thing or do they just wash it and shove it in there you know we're just gonna wash it and we're gonna do the dang thing okay no i dropped it no step number one lavate las manos con jabón step two Wash this little cup. Step three is put your hair in a bun because you don't want to get blood everywhere, especially not in your hair. Step three, pee before you insert it. Step four, close the door. Step five, lock the door. Okay, so we're about to insert it, and I think the way I want to insert it is this way. Okay, I just want this to not hurt. I feel like this is possible. We're about to give it a go. So it says to sit down, or you could do it standing on the toilet, but it says to just relax your muscles. Okay, this is so weird. Place a finger on top of the... Yo, this is weird, like props to all the girls out there that put tampons up there and use this diva cup because, like, ah, uh, yep, no, I just failed. It's out! It's out! Oh my god, this is so disgusting. <sighs> okay, it says relax and I'm not relaxed, so I need to relax, okay. And, oh my gosh, whoa, 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 yep, it's in. I think it's in. And it's in. Yep, it's in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, it's freaking it. I have never felt this in my life and this is very weird. This, this is so freaking weird. It definitely feels like there's something up there. What if it gets like suctioned up there? 
Honestly, I don't think I would ever work out with a Diva Cup just because, I don't know, that's a little risque. Like, especially if you're like squatting or like jumping. <sighs> okay, it's a little uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go with one to 10. It's like a 7.5, almost an eight. Like, I don't know if I would feel comfortable sitting down. Like, it feels like I need to pee. I don't know why. Although I literally just peed like five seconds ago. I definitely feel like I could get used to this just because, you know, it's my very first time trying something like this. So I'm pretty sure I'll get used to it. But like as of right now, I really don't think I would ever use this again as of right now just because it's very uncomfortable and it just feels like there's something up there that shouldn't be up there. If that makes any sense whatsoever, but we're gonna see how the day goes and how I feel with like sitting and and you know. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm actually really glad that I decided to do this today and not yesterday because yesterday I went to the gym and it just would have I don't think it would have been pretty if I went to the gym with this. So today's my rest day, so we're gonna see how it goes. This is weird. This is super weird. You know how I asked you, do you know what a diva cup is? A diva cup goes up your vagina and I just put it up there. ¿Y eso querías que yo supiera? Diva cup. Diva cup. Va en tu vagina. It's like a tampon and it feels so weird. Es un cup? It's a cup. Así de grande? Yeah. ¿Y es para que no uses cotex? Uh -huh. Or a tampon. It's better than a tampon, apparently. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Uh, it's like $30. ¿30? 30. 30? 30. <laughs> it's like $30, $40. Okay, so update. I have not used a restroom in one hour. Wow, no, because I was at one. So two hours. It's been two hours. And I have to go to the restroom really, really bad. So I'm going to try to take it out and show you what it looks like. So if you don't want to see blood, skip a couple of seconds and minutes. And yeah. Okay, hey, I'm not going to lie though. I'm actually kind of terrified of... Uh, I'm taking this thing out because I don't know. Like, do I pee or do I take try taking it out? Oh, I can actually pee without taking it out. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna take it out anyways. Huh? Huh? If this what it feels like to give birth like a baby coming oh my god i can't even imagine a baby coming out of here yo i don't even know how to describe this feeling but if this is what it's gonna feel like to give birth i don't know if i can do it more blood than this but in just two hours that that's pretty impressive like this is what it looks like there's a little bit of blood like on the outside but that's because I literally like shoved it out and it just felt so weird and so uncomfortable and I'm not gonna lie it actually hurt a little bit as I was uh taking it out It was very uncomfortable and I feel free now that it's out. I'm just like, oh my gosh, this feels so much better. But okay, so a little update. I was able to sit down and edit my YouTube videos and do everything fine. Like it was uncomfortable to sit at first, but I obviously got used to it. But I don't know how I feel about like this whole like taking it out part really hurt. Like not that bad, but it was just like a pain that I shouldn't have to go through with this but i do know you know like it's my first time so i'll get used to it or i'll know how to properly take it out not just like shove it out 
but if I'm being honest, I don't think I'm gonna use this ever again. And you know what's really weird is that I've never actually like seen my blood, you know? So this is actually kind of cool, but kind of disgusting all at the same time. Came through drip, drip, drip. Came through drip, drip, drip. Drip, drip. Yeah, I'm gonna dump it. Let's wash this out. I feel like it was nice while it lasted, but I think I'm just gonna stick to my pods <laughs> just because I, know, I have a couple of reasons as to why. One, this wasn't very comfortable for me. I was very uncomfortable. Now, my second reasoning as to why I don't think I'm gonna ever use it again is because obviously, you know, you have to wash it and like shove it up there and I just feel like as much as you try to, you know, be cautious and be like super clean with it, you still have to like keep in mind like you're still shoving that up there and you never know. You just never know. Like I feel like your hands can't be as clean as you want them to like ever no matter what it is you do and I just feel like it's the same concept, you know, and you're just shoving that up there and I just feel like it's not... I don't know. But the reason as to why I don't feel like I'm gonna ever do it again is just because it was it was uncomfortable. You can't fix something that ain't broke. So don't fix something that's not broken. <laughs> and in this case, pads. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use pads. I've come to the conclusion. I'm just gonna stay wearing pads. It is okay. I'm gonna be fine. It's fine. I'd rather be pain free. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's lovely different video. I wanted to give something a try and I did. I got out of my comfort zone for sure and now I can say that I've tried it and that I wasn't a huge, huge fan. If you guys have any recommendations for me or any tips, any tricks that I could do to have a better experience, let me know because I would like to learn and be more educated on how to properly, you know, insert and <laughs> take it out and whatnot. But anyways, it's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day, even when you're on your period and even when you put a diva cup up you. But don't forget that I also love you and I will see your gorgeous self in the next one. Bye!